नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोजयुदीर नष्टाषु अभद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवते उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवति नैस्तिकी श्रीमद् भागवतम कैंथो टेन चैप्टर एटी फाइव टाइटल लॉर्ड कृष्णा इंस्ट्रक्ट्स वसुदेव टेक्स्ट नंबर फोर्टी फाइव तत् न प्रसिद निरापेक्षा विमृघ्या युस्मा पाद अरविंद दिशना अन्या गृह अंदा निष्क्रम्य विश्व शारण आंग्री उपलब्ध वृत्ति शात यक चरा तन्न प्रसीद निरपेक्ष विमृग्ययुष्मा पादारविंद दशनान्या गृहांधकूपा निष्क्रम्य विश्वशरणांग्री उपलब्ध वृत्ति शांतोयतेकऊत सर्वसकेशरा तन्न प्रसिद निरपेक्ष विमुग्रयुष्मा पादारविंद दिशनान्या गृहांधकूपा निष्क्रम्य विश्वशरणांग्री उपलब्ध वृत्ति शांतोयतेकऊत सर्वसकेशरा तन्न प्रसिद निरपेक्ष विमुग्रयुष्मा पादारविंद दिशनान्या गृहांधकूपा निष्क्रम्य विश्वशरणांग्री उपलब्ध वृत्ति शांतो यथेकऊत सर्वसकेशरा
शांतो यथैकऊत सर्वसके चरा निष्क्रम्य विश्व शरणांग्रिय विपलब्ध वृत्ति शांतो यते कऊत सर्व सके शरा तत् इन सच वे न टू अस प्रसिधा प्लीज बी मर्सीफुल निरपेक्षा बाय दोज यू हैव नो मेटीरियल मोटिव्स विम्रज्ञा search for yushmat your pada than the feet aravinda lotus dishana shelter anya adhar griha from the home anda blind kupat which is a well nishkramya going out vishwa to the whole world sharana of those who are helpful that is the trees angri at the feet upalabdha obtained वृत्ति ही हुज लाइवलीहुड शांत पीसफुल यथा एज एक अलोन उथा और एल्स सर्व ऑफ एवरी वन सखे विद द फ्रेंड्स चरामी आई मे वॉन्डर translation and purport by the disciples of his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami shila prabhu path please be merciful to me so i may get out of the blind well of family life my false home and find the true shelter of your lotus feet which selfless sages always seek then either alone or in the company of great saints who are the friends of every one i may wander freely finding life's necessities at the feet of the universally charitable trees purport shri la vishwanath chakravarti states that in response to bali's prayers shri krishna invited him to choose some benediction and in this verse bali submits his request bali begs to be relieved of the entanglement of material life so he will be free to leave home and wander in the wilderness with only the lord's lotus feet has his shelter for his subsistence for his subsistence bali proposes he will take help from the forest trees at whose feet are fruits to eat and leaves to sleep on for all to use as needed and if the lord is especially merciful to him 
while he hopes he will not have to wander alone but will be allowed to travel in the company of Lord Krishna's devotees. Om Jnanati Mirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamsha Namahom Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamine Itinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pasyatya Deshatarine Vancha Kalpatarubhyasya Kripa Sinduya Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Namo Maha Vadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gauratise Namaha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Apta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Rishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Pri Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Please be merciful to me as I may get out of the blind well of family life, my false home, and find true shelter of your lotus feet which selfless sages always seek. Then either alone or in the company of great saints who are the friends of everyone, I may wander freely, finding life's necessities at the feet of the universally charitable trees. Hare Krishna Maharaj. <laughs> It's a little unusual type of a class I'm giving where you are sitting as a sannyasi. I'm meeting you for the first time, I don't remember. His Holiness Bhakti Rasayan Sagar Swami Maharaj. So we welcome you to Radha Gopinath Mandir. And uh, I'm feeling a little awkward. <laughs> but still, it's our tradition, it's our parampara. Of course, there are my God brothers, Brahmachari friends here, always there to encourage me. <laughs> Thank you very much. So in this verse, these are the prayers of uh, Bali Maharaj. Now we all know that, of course, we have, I think, a lot of 
discussion must have gone on Bali Maharaj for the last few days. Uh, Vamandev appearance day. But still, now we can see how in that state we should know that Bali Maharaj Mansans spiritually a successful position. Imagine the Lord Himself becoming His guard. Uh, the Lord says that, you know, that I become subordinate to my devotees. I mean, that is the ultimate type of a level of realization which he sees to the gopis because their love is so supreme that he says that I have nothing to give you in return. In that sense, the Lord is become in Sutra Loka as his guard. That means whenever the Lord uh, Bali Maharaj comes out of the gate, he has to stand up. It is said that there were so many gates in Sutta Loka, the Lord was not very sure from where Bali Maharaj will come out. So he'll be always looking out toward wherever he comes, he'll run and he'll stand there out. So that is what is Bali Maharaj. But in that state, and it is not that he easily acquired this state, we all know that what he went through, how he was humiliated right in front of all his family members and uh, completely ripped out, taken everything out from him, helpless. And then he offers his life and then he is given the benediction and then now he is in Sutta Loka. So one sense, something great, isn't it? He has already gone through. He has already passed through all the tests, most severe tests in his life. And he has been given this position. But when the Lord comes in front of him, Lord comes for some favor from him, these are his favors. See the grateful heart. Huh? Now we keep talking about, you know, we should be grateful. You know, yes, we express our gratitude. But what is the depth of gratitude? What is gratitude? Unless the heart is so soft, gratitude can never manifest. Now what does softness of heart means? What? Means I don't deserve anything. There is no question about any expectation. Where is the question about thinking superior to anyone? Everyone is better than me. So in that state, the mercy which is available to everyone but can penetrate only a person whose heart is like that. Mercy is available. It is like rainfall. But unless the heart is soft like that, it will not penetrate. Now, where is the question about Bali Maharaj not receiving mercy? He has already received mercy from his past experiences. But here in that state, he is going further down. He is comparing himself to an entangled family man. Even in that state, he is saying that, please, I am begging you, please help me, take me out of this position. Let me be free, let me be dependent, let me wander. Let me be in the wilderness alone. But if you agree, I would like to be with your devotees. So that I am always with them who are very shanta, peaceful. Now this is what he is asking uh, in this state of consciousness. Now it is said that in Ayurveda there is a concept Unless the digestive power is good, the food will not get digested. What to speak about the food? Even the medicine what is taken, even that doesn't get digested. This is a very uh, popular concept about Ayurveda. They will, they will see that what is your digestive power. If the digestion is poor, no question about any digestion. Similarly, of course, we are sincerely trying, aspiring that when will that consciousness arise where the heart is soft to receive the mercy. Without mercy, we are helpless. Nothing can possible in our 
spiritual life in our sadhana unless there is of course we have lord, received lord's mercy we will not be here otherwise because mercy is there we are here mercy is there we are chanting mercy is there we are existing but still to receive deeper understanding of lord's mercy unless we are that qualification are we the recipient so this ayurveda says so that can be compared here if the heart is uh, insensitive and hard then there is no question about receiving it so where is the question about assimilating it where is the question about digesting it so that means it receive but it's not going because the heart is so this is how we hear about uh, bali maharaj's greatness no doubt he is a mahajan and uh, even though he, he was uh, born in a uh, low uh, strata of the society demonic family but he is so humble to express so in these words these are his prayers one sense uh, it appears as if Srimad Bhagavatam is today offering their uh, gratitude to Srila Prabhupada. The prayers are very appropriate for today's very special day. This verse is just a coincidence. Uh, but nothing happens without Krishna's will. So this verse is so appropriate to Prabhupada. Unfortunately, not many people know in the world that what did Prabhupada do before he accepted sannyas. So Bali Maharaj's prayers is not different from sannyas. The spirit is purely of sannyas. He is begging here, let me be in that consciousness. So today is a very historical, revolutionary, auspicious, holy day. Today is the day 57 years ago, Srila Prabhupada, from Bhakti Vedanta Prabhu, he became his divine grace, Abhay Charan, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, on this day. So, a little interesting to know that how did this happen? Sanyas. Of course, we all are familiar with 1922. As a grasta, with a young, uh, growing up child with his friend, he met Bhakti Siddhan Saras Thakur in Kolkata. And uh, Prabhupada was stunned, shocked, that how can he give me an instruction? <laughs> I don't even know him. First time I'm meeting him. But same time, he was so jubilant that he was defeated by his argument that he said, first we should be uh, liberated from British rule and how Bhakti Sathari smashed him that politics can keep on changing. Different parties will come, different power will come. That will go on happening. But this message can never wait. And that is a thing he held it in his heart. He never forgot. And he had full faith in Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur's instruction that because it's his instruction, 100% it has to happen. And rest of his life from that day onwards, he had never ever forgotten that he has to do this because his Guru has said it. Because it is his instruction. So we all know that after that, he was always very eager to go and help. He was a grasta, so he could not do much. But wherever there was an opportunity, he would always go with his god brothers and help. Now, Mumbai, those days may be called Bombay, it is very famous for this aspect that as a grahastha, Prabhupada had come several times to Mumbai to preach. And uh, his preaching will be, he would coordinate and he would invite his uh, sannyasi god brothers. His sannyasi god brothers, of course, I forgot his name. One was Bhakti Sarangathakur Maharaj and 
Bhakti Raktak Maharaj. They will together, three of them, they will go to house to house program. And uh, Prabhupada will lead the Kirtan. Then he will introduce and they will give the class. And after they will talk about the mission, then they will raise funds. And this way, just close by, they establish a temple. Just near Grant Road. Huh? And uh, this went on. Then of course after, and Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur came for the DT installation. So his God brothers, they said, uh, Prabhupada, you should be made the president of this temple. So Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur said, you don't tell him anything, you don't force him anything. When time comes, he will do everything. So that was a prophecy that time in Mumbai. And after that, of course, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasri Thakur left, 1936. And in 1940, he first time brought back to Godhead magazine alone. He would write, he would read, I mean, he would proofread, he would edit, he would go to the press, he will negotiate with the printer. And this is how it started, 1940. And in those days, he was alone distributing and his objective was very clear. He says, we want to train young men and women the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so that they can go and preach all over the world. Well, this was in 1940s. First time when he came with British. And then we all know about how his children were grown up. So that is the time he decided that now is the time for me to go and take shelter in Vrindavan. So he went to Vrindavan. One man, and uh, when he entered that place first, Bamsi Gopal temple, and he was given a small room upstairs, and when he entered the room, he saw there was a kerosene burner, and a bucket and a rope. These are the two things. Bucket and rope to draw water, and kerosene burner to cook. His expenses were so frugal. He would keep account of vegetables, milk, uh, grains. And you know what was the most uh, expensive, uh, uh, costly thing in the expenditure? Postage stamps. Because those days he was working on how to distribute back to Godhead Max. So there was an agreement made first time with that Mahant Gopal. Rupees five per month was the rent. Now this Mahant, when he made the agreement, he thought this also is one Babu, you know. There are so many Babus, they come f as a retirement and they never leave Rindavan. They just remain there in Rindavan to leave his body. But Bhakti Vedanta Swami, I mean Prabhupada, that time Prabhupada, he would so often go leave Rindavan. He will go to Delhi, but then the same day he will come back because he had no money to go and stay in Delhi. Because staying in Delhi was very expensive. So morning he will go, evening he will come back because he had a room here. He can't stay in Delhi. He had, a, he had some facility, but then one day someone else took it up. Some other sadhu came and took it. So after that he would go to Delhi, he would meet the printer, again same negotiate, paper, then one day he ran out of money and the printer said, sorry, how long can I go on? How long can I go on doing this? His name was Mr. Jain. He came back Vrindavan alone and he started writing but never had any idea that this would be printed because nothing would happen. And then one day his friend from Mumbai called him up. His name was Acharya. Who is that? Huh? He was here in Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. He was a secretary here in the Sanskrit department. So Prabhupada came here. 
and uh, he governor was k munshi our k munshi mark so this friend was very hopeful that you know he will help you so k munshi himself will be conducting classes and he will be preaching in public what has gone wrong with the world this will be the theme and after the class prabhu pad would go and tell him sir just this type of preaching will not work we need we need real some institute and prabhu pad those days was focusing on reviving league of devotees again because league of devotees was smashed that was wife of munshi herself she is the one who take over <laughs> in jansi so again here munshi is here and he is again talking to him but then well they would accept his back to god at they will give him some appreciation letter fine then he'll again he'll go back to vrindavan alone so this way it will go on then one day he thought that i should go to kanpur why because there are a lot of industrialists so he'll go to kanpur with show them the btg tell them about his mission take some donation and when the donation came again after this back to god at magazine again came up because someone gave him a donation so again he printed but he had to put the name of the donor so those were the hard days prabhupada himself says that so tough it was for him but then he is saying that when i realize i go to delhi i go to kanpur i go to bombay i go to calcutta well i can go to new york started thinking if i go to this place and you you see he has he has written 1000 copies to us 1000 copies to uk 1000 copies to russia then 1000 500 copies to brazil 500 copies to chile 500 copies to all these other countries but these countries 1000 copies 10000 copies so prabhupad never ever uh, uh, he even though he, he was uh, had no idea how it is going to happen but his spirit that this is the need and plus back to god it was not very popular because prabhupad never made any compromise in his articles he will just spash he will expose mayavadis he will expose bhogas gurus he will expose any other irreligious things appearing as religion so it's not that everyone appreciated his articles so that is the time he remembered bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur don't write anything to flatter others you speak the truth when krishna is pleased money will come so even in those uh, conditions he would remember bhakti siddhant sir thakur was saying only a dead man can't preach if you have life you preach so with this inspiration he was continuing and then so this was somewhere around in 19 uh 55 56 this is how the struggle was going on but then on and off bhakti siddhant sir si thakur will come in his dream i have given you a mission follow me take sanyas and prabhupada would say that so horrible uh, because he had uh, uh, seen so many sanyasis in rindavan and even before that he said sanyas for prestige and you know they misuse their power and you know so many other things are happening uh, say so said no no sanyas so but then when it kept on you know again and again bhakti siddhant sir this guru maharaj is saying you have to take sanyas so he wrote letter to headquarters those days bhakti siddhant sir thakur's one recognized was chaitanya mat in kolkata the new temple which after bhakti siddhant sir sorry i could left there was lot of confusion many people left and they started their own chaitanya mission vedanta samiti and again and left left splinters but still he thought that if i am going to us or any other, if i am going to abroad i would connect it to this institute because this is my guru maharaj's 
original institute. So he wrote a letter to Bhakti Ha Vilas Tirtha Maharaj that I am here and I have many manuscripts I have written and uh, I would uh, like to go abroad and uh, I would like to also take sannyas. So he got a reply from his god brother, sannyasi god brother, that uh, this is very nice but you see first you come here, we will give you a very ventilated airy room. You come and stay with us, there are a lot of things here, you can preach here and then as far as your manuscripts are concerned, we have so many other things pending to be printed, so it will not be possible and uh, we will think about your sannyas and it's, well, it, everything goes on well, we, you can also go abroad. So this was not acceptable to Prabhupada. But still that spirit was burning. Why? Because he saw here that he all his attempts here, uh, distributing books or meeting industrialists or the top people or having home programs, people had all taken for granted. No one was very serious about what he wanted to give. That is the time he wrote letter to the Prime Minister. And he all, you know, was the Prime Minister, uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Lal Nehru. And unfortunately, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was completely influenced by the British. So he, whatever was from Harvard, whatever was from imported things, he was so fascinated that this is what is India. And here is Prabhupada boldly writing to him, if you don't revive, he warned, it's a warning letter, there will be war, there will be strife. Of course he wrote to uh, Mahatma Gandhi, this was his uh, uh, faith that his Guru Maharaj has said, this has to happen and this was, this was a culture. Huh? Now a few days back we read about Indianness, you know, some Frenchman is writing about us, he is telling, you Indians, what is Indianness? He is telling us, how unfortunate, there is nothing innovative happening now in your country and you are the people who gave Vedic arithmetic, astronomy, philosophy, uh, you are the one through which we could measure the distance between earth and moon, architecture, Mohenjo-daro, the country of uh, gold and honey, the iron never rusts. The pillar is still there, Kutub Minar. And what to speak about, uh, he says that even the Bollywood movies, they also don't have any original concept, they are copying Hollywood. And what to speak about children in school, they know Napoleon, but they don't know Shivaji Maharaj. They know Western poets, they don't know Kalidas. Now this French man is saying, this is what is happening to you. You see the computers, nothing original. Even China has superseded. Same time, independence, but they are superseded. They've got their own innovative world. But India, just motorcycle, cars, everything is just copying. Copying. But this is what Prabhupada had confidence that this is our culture, this is our values, this is our wisdom. This has to be gone. So you should write to the Prime Minister. Please consider this. Of course, uh, the will of providence, because Prabhupada had something more to do it, so he didn't accept. So, this stage, one of his uh, god brother, again a sannyas god brother, uh, Kesho Maharaj, he said, I know you are so much fired up to preach, but without sannyas, no one will respect you. You should take sannyas. So Prabhupada said, no, already my other god brother, he said that, you know, this is not right time for you to take sannyas. So I don't want to take sannyas. So he was not very this. But then Kesho Maharaj, he insisted that you have to take sannyas. Prabhupada, you have to take sannyas. So then he realized, well, my Guru Maharaj is speaking through him. He used to come in the dream, now he is speaking through him that, 
So this is how Prabhupada decided to take sannyas. In 1959, in uh, a matha, in Mathura, uh, Prabhupada had gone to that matha before also, he had donated his deities there. So in a very small room, 50 by 25 feet room with the deities and with the Guru Parampara pictures. And this was an event, it was an it was a holy day in one sense because it was Vishwarup Mahamotsu. This is the day 500 years back, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's elder brother had taken sannyas. So on that day, Prabhupada will be awarded sannyas. So the yajna kunda was prepared. No one was invited. Whom to invite? But the, all those people who were there in the ashram, some residents, some brahmacharis, some local, few of them were there. And there was one more person to be initiated. He was 90 year old. Sanathan. So they took and uh, the yajna is going on and uh, after his, uh, san, the one who gave him sannyas, he gave the class, then he told Prabhupada to speak. Now this never happens that you know, but uh, so then Prabhupada spoke. Now you see the type of people sitting there, they are all <laughs> either Bengali or Hindi. And Prabhupada could have spoken in both the language because he was very fluent in Hindi, he was fluent in Bengali. Prabhupada's first lecture after taking sannyas, he spoke in this mat was in English. And uh, hardly anyone could understand except, except for his Kesho Maharaj and his disciple Narayan Maharaj. I think Narayan Maharaj was not sannyasi that time. And uh, Akhinchana Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj. He was one of uh, Prabhupada's god brother who was a Babaji. Now he is saying that what happened on that day. There was Vedic mantras being chanted because the sannyas in everything. And the Vedic mantras were chanting and Akhinchana Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj, he was so famous for chanting Harinam. Everywhere, wherever he used to go, all, even though there was so much of conflict and so many branches had appeared in Gaudiya Mat, wherever he would go, he would be welcomed. And they would give him the Mradang and say that, now you lead the Kirtan. That was, so he was chanting Mahamantra. And the Vedic mantra, which was a ritual for sannyas, they were chanting their mantra. So, Akinjar Krishna Das Maharaj's Mahamantra volume would, you know, will go up. They would say, no, 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 don't chant so loudly, you know, because we are chanting the mantras, Vedic mantras. And Prabhupada sitting there, he would look at him and he says, mantra, chant. So, this will go on to and forth. They would say, you know, soft chantly and Prabhupada would say, chant loud. So, Akinjana Krishna Das Goswami Maharaj says that this is the time I knew this person has faith in the holy name. He would spread the power of holy name all over the world. So he, that time, that is in 1959. So then, uh, obviously we all know that Prabhupada was given sannyas, huh? where uh, uh, sannyas, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself said sannyas is not given because how difficult. But then it is only for the need, huh? because the society needed. There has to be a sannyasi. Prabhupada accepted it only for that because for the last nine years he was living like a sannyasi. There is no question about just by changing saffron he is going to become a sannyasi. He was a sannyasi already. So he said, well, but then first it's needed. So I'll accept sannyas. So he accepted the sannyas, then the body, mind, words, life, everything surrendered now. He was given kantimala, he was given two pairs of this top one and the and two saffron copins and a sannyas mantra. And he was given this name. 
Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. So this is the day Prabhupada was given sannyas and rest is history. <laughs> Prabhupada, that is on 1959, he, it's not that he had not made an attempt uh, with uh, Sumati Murarji before. He had made an attempt but he could not raise enough funds to, for the visa and the passport and again he gave up. But then eventually after sannyas, he came to Bombay, he met and then as a sannyasi. So that cooker which he carried, we use the same cooker he used to use in uh, uh, Bamsi Gopal uh, room upstairs, the small room up on the first floor uh, with that kerosene burner he would still use. But everything was so frugal, so desperate for money because he was saying that when I was a grasta I would liberally distribute back to Godhead magazine. But now it was so difficult. Everything he had to raise, raise, raise. So it is very interesting to know that sometimes we see or someone has become a, a oh such a great soul, but we don't know that what they have gone through in their life. Just like here Bali Maharaj, uh, Sutala Loka, King. But what had happened in his life? Uh, what test he went through? What power, what humiliation, completely, you know, no ego at all. How can there be an ego when a person is in that state, he is praying here out of gratitude. So it's a very appropriate verse, this is what I taught. Uh, today is a very special day and uh, Sanyas Maharaj is sitting here also is very appropriate. <laughs> so this is what is Srila Prabhupada's uh, contribution to the society, how much he sacrificed. Just just for only one purpose. Of course, faith in his Guru Maharaj instruction and faith in the holy name and out of compassion for all the conditioned souls, how to make these people liberate them from their conditioned state and how to take them back to Godhead. This was his only purpose in life and for that what what he did. But it began. Huh? Of course, there are a lot of details. It is there in Lilamrit. But uh, to keep it very short, so I thought I will give you a little idea about proper Prabhupada's sacrifice before he took sannyas. So this is all before sannyas. His divine grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Srila Prabhupada ki Bhagavat Puran ki Maharaj, would you like to speak on this occasion if you want to say something? There are a few minutes left. Hare Krishna Guru, thank you for the very nice class and uh, it is true, it's Krishna's arrangement that this verse is coinciding with today's occasion and uh, yeah, that today's need, today's situation is a little bit different and uh, we can see that there are so many wonderful devotees in Chopati, dedicated to the mission. So, real sannyas is in spirit rather than dress. This is what I thought. Thank you very much. Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Ki Guru Shishya Parampara Ki Jai Ki Jai Ki Jai Ki Jai